Hi, and welcome to the Ideal Calibrations How to Calibrate Your Gas Detector Series. This is the GMI Visa. Uh, so we're going to get this one started up here. Start, hold the green button on the right. And it should fire the pump up and get started. It's an interesting unit. It's got a diffusion plate as well as a pump on the bottom so that you can operate it in either mode. Uh, to get to Cal menu, once it's in this section here, this countdown, you want to press left, right, left, right, left, right. And it's going to show this M. So to get there again, during the countdown, left, right, left, right, left, right. It's like you're putting in a video game code. So, while that's going, going on, getting to startup, let's go through the accessories. So now it's in its mode here, where you can see, not, can't see very well apparently. Uh, you can see the different system menus here. We're going to go through those, and there's some codes you use to check into the right menus. So, get to that in a moment. Uh, so let's make sure we got everything else, all of our things ready here. We've got a 0.5 liter per minute regulator. We're going to take our tubing, and this tubing has a little calibration adaption fitting, and that's necessary for the calibration. So I'm going to unbundle that, and just put it over the hose bar. It's like that. We're going to put this on the cylinder. Before we do, I'm just going to check make sure you have the right gas blend. So 25 parts per million hydrogen sulfide, 100 parts per million carbon monoxide, 50% LEL methane, 18% oxygen with a nitrogen balance. Now, if you don't have this gas mix, you can use other gas blends with this monitor. It's very easy to do uh, while you're in the calibration menu. So this is just the mix that GMI recommends. So that's what we're going to use here. Okay, now we want to take our regulator, and first thing you want to do is you want to open the regulator up. You want to open that valve, and that's so that way when you screw this into the cylinder, you don't take this room air and trap it in with the cylinder. You want to let it blow out the top. Uh, so we do that first. We open up the valve. Next, we take our cylinder, screw it in, and you're going to wait until you hear the gas start to flow. And there it goes. And then once you hear that, you can close that regulator and continue screwing it in. There you go. Okay, so that's all screwed in there. Valve is off. This is sitting here. And we've got our menus in front of us here. I'm going to try and bring that up so you guys can see the screen a little better. All right. So you can see the once is calibrate. And the way you move on here is this is the move button on the left. And on the right is the enter button. And that's not letting you see too well, but... We'll try and get this as best we can. Okay, that's probably the best we're going to get. So we're going to go down to calibrate, down once, press the button. Now it's asking for a code here. The calibration code is 333. Three, three. So we're going to go to 3, then hit the green button, and then 1, 2, 3, hit the green button, and then 1, 2, 3, green button. Okay, now it says... Hold the, the green button on the right to zero all ranges. And do so. Okay. Now it's zeroed. So now we're going to apply gas to this unit, and then we're going to read it on the screen and see what it comes up with. So you plug it in the bottom, give it a little twist, turn your gas on. And it's going to start alarming. Uh, I'm going to plug that up a little bit of. Sculptor's clay for now. Okay. We're going to let this run about a minute. I'm going to keep track over on my end. I'm going to watch the screen here. You can see this value here. This right now it's saying 56. And what we're going to do is we're going to adjust this downward and then we're going to accept it. So. Okay, so it's right about 56 right now, so we're going to adjust it down. Oop, that was up. Okay, down is the button on the right. I take that back, sorry about that. Left button moves it up, and all you can do is move it up. This is not my favorite feature, but here we are. And 
And what we want to move this to is 50, which is the percent LEL methane in the cylinder. What you don't want to do, if you press and hold, you always kind of run the risk that it's going to shoot up past your value. So you just got to really feather these sometimes. All right. Okay. Rub it 50. There we go. A little bit one more. Okay, now it's a 50. Before what it was doing was just flashing between 49 and 50. We want it to be a solid 50. Press and hold to accept. Okay, so now it's looking for the H2S. It thinks there's 30 here. We have to tell it it's 25. So we're going to press and hold to bring this up. Okay. 25, 26 is close. That's good enough. Press and hold to accept. Okay, CO. We're going to get this down to 100. Okay, we're going to leave that one. It's close. Okay, so now it says calc complete, save results. The options are update, save only, or abandon. So you use the left button to scroll, and you want to go to update. Oh, press and hold. So now it says next cal due, and it's, uh, this one's 180 days from now. And now we're going to press and hold this button here to finish. Okay. So to, back, to get into normal reading mode now, you uh, press and hold enter to done. And now it's going to be back in reading mode. And we're going to turn this gas off and unhook it. OK, I made a mistake right there. Uh, I, what I should have done, I should have popped this off first and then turned this one off. That way, you, that way you don't have that happen to your pump. But if you're so quick, you can save it. OK? All right, now this is going to clear out the gas that's in there. We're going to clear the alarms. There we go. The button that you press to stop that one from alarming, you press and hold the right button. And we're going to wait and let this go back up to uh, all zeros and 20.9. Okay, and there it goes. So it took a little while to get up there. But you can see how everything zeros again. And here we have 20.9 on the oxygen sensor. So if we were going to bump test this unit to test the functionality, uh, we, we, we could check it and make sure that it's working before we go out for work. So what we would do is we would take the gas here and we're going to put it on here. Uh, now there's two options on this, uh, whether or not to have the pump on. So you can have the pump on and use a demand flow regulator. Uh, or you can turn the pump off and use a fixed flow regulator like this one. So that's what we're, we're going to do is turn, turn the pump off. All right, press and hold these two buttons on the outside. Oh, I'm sorry. Press and hold the power button. Just this one button. There it goes. Turns it off. You do enough of these things, they all start to merge together in your mind. So again, to turn the pump on and off, press and hold this one. Okay, so now we're in, in this mode. We're going to do a bump test. Now, a bump test is a simple functionality test to make sure that all the sensors are working and that you can hear the alarm. So I'm going to take this off to run the bump test. And now we're going to turn the gas on. Now, you don't need a ton of gas for this. It should happen pretty quick. Start hearing the alarms all going off. Okay, I can hear those. We'll cover that. And now I'm looking for a few key things. Number one, my flashers are going off, the strobes at the top. I can hear the hear the alarm going off, and if there's a vibrating alarm on it, uh, I should be able to he feel the vibrating alarm. This unit does not have a vibrating alarm, so we don't need to look for that on this one. Okay, now that we're all done, we're going to unhook the gas and turn the valve off. And then we'll let this clear. 
And to help it clear, I'm going to turn the pump back on. There we go. Okay. Okay, and there we go. So now we've done our bump test for the day. We know the unit's good, it's been calibrated, and it's ready to go out the door. Okay? If you have any questions, feel free to send us an email to support at idealcalibrations.com. Let's bring that back in here. Uh, or you can give us a call at 734-956-0539. Thank you much. Have a great day and stay safe out there.